Welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting one for me because I have been waiting quite some time to get another one of these bad boys. So let's unbox it right now. As you saw in the thumbnail, this is a canvas head. So I already have one and I needed to get another one. Now granted, I did already previously open this box so I had to close it so y'all could see me open it again. <laughs> but, ooh, she's pink. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so let me unbox all the items so I can go over each thing that came in the package. Okay, so I am in love with their canvas heads. So GEX Worldwide Canvas Blockhead, probably some of the best, if not the best, canvas heads on the market. I have seen people review quite a bit of canvas heads and to be honest, this company is solid. I have this one, which I'll showcase in a second. I bought that one six years ago and that little missy is she's good like she's solid so I think I'll end up buying a couple more um, yeah but I feel like what they ended up doing is they did change around their filling so I think they have crumbled uh, cork versus it being solid pieces of cork I'm not sure it may have always it may have always been crumbled so but they're heavy they're heavy duty they don't tear um i'm sure they'll probably eventually fall apart but i feel like i'll probably have this thing for the rest of my life um they're that solid i believe in them that much and then they have little stands so this stand came as complimentary with the mannequin head so this was a kit the one that i bought before didn't come in a kit um so this is a table clamp and I actually have a tripod stand that I got from the thrift store, but I may eventually get one of their tripod stands. But as of right now, I'm just getting the heads. So let's look to see what we have. Okay, so you have, it came with the mannequin head. It came with three alligator clips. Now granted, these alligator clips, child, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay like I don't understand when people give you things that have plastic and this is like you can tell this is going to break like my rev air but um alligator clips broke and I rarely used them like I only used them probably maybe five times and out of nowhere the little clamp that holds this piece just it just popped off like it just crumbled crazy so this may last a little longer. I don't know, I don't have faith in it because it's plastic, but I have metal clips like this, like full metal clips. So these are nice, these are cute. These are cute. Um, a wig cap. Now this is just a literal wig cap. You just put this on before you put your wig on. That's all this is. Some thread. Now this is thin, this is pretty thin. The thread that I use is probably two or three times thicker than this. And I'll actually show you that thread, but this is pretty thin. I may use this for something else or just to hold something in place temporarily, but yeah, it's cute. This, on the other hand, I actually liked a lot. So they give you these hella long <laughs> uh, T-pins. I mean, these things are like two inches, maybe one and a half inches long. I have some one inch long ones that are like half the size, like probably like that long on down from there on down. These things are hella long and it's like, okay, but they're thick, so that's nice. So they gave me 10 of these and this was my favorite part as far as the extra goodies these put that down so they give you curved needles 
Now granted, these curved needles are long as hell. I'm not gonna lie. These are really long. <laughs> but, you know, I could do a little thing or two with these. And it's never, it never hurts to have extra curved needles. But child, I be getting in there and I'm like very, you know. So these may be too long, I don't know, but I like that I have them because I can use them on my sewing projects. You know, when I'm doing like Boro or something. So yeah, I can add that to my fashion collection or just leave it to my hair collection. Don't matter, everything is versatile. And this is the table clamp. Now, one thing about the tape, I already opened it, by the way. So, it didn't come popped open like this. I literally opened this already. I was on bed rest, so that's the reason why I had to put it back in the package. So, one thing I do like about this, this thing is solid. Like, this thing is solid as hell. I've never gotten a, and it has the, the little things on it, the little nubs on the ball to keep it to add friction so you put it on there like you do all the other ones and it holds the head in place so the thing i really like about this is the thickness of the plastic i have never had a wig stand or a c-clamp stand like this that was plastic and the plastic was this thick so they definitely did good on this. So I'm, I'm wondering how their tripod stands are going to be. Because if their table clamps are this thick and quality like this, oh, I'm sure their regular stands, their tripod stands would be really nice. Yeah, it's solid. That thing ain't going nowhere. Ugh, that, oof, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. And it's not even all the way down. So I still have some threads to be able to close it down. All right, let's pull out this beauty. Isn't she pretty? Oh my God, isn't she pretty? It's gold. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, her head is big as hell, and that's okay, it's a 24. And I wanted to get the 24 because I realized that the one that I ordered before, which fits my, which is the actual size of my head, is smaller. So let me get my other one. Hey, girl. <laughs> so this is my other one. So you can see the difference in the size of the, the head. So this is the front and this is the back. Back, front. All right. I mean, that's... Her head is significantly bigger. <laughs> like even the roundness is actually bigger too. So let me put them to the side. It's not dramatic, but it's kind of dramatic. Just a little bit. And this is my baby. I love her. Um, yeah, but it's like the thickness of this one. Oh, you're not going to go wrong when making wigs for someone with a big head. Or if you have a lot of hair and you just want to make sure that your wig fits you appropriately, use this one because it'll stretch out the cap to where however you sew it on there, you're not going to go wrong. So all of my wigs I've always made on this one and they've all worked out perfect. Um, but I definitely did want to make sure that I got a bigger one so that I could have like that extra room because I have a lot of hair, you guys. I have a lot of hair. I have tailbone length, 3C, 4A hair, whatever. Like I, I literally have really long hair and it's, it's, it's thick. So I need to make sure that whenever I'm making wigs, I have something that I can construct my wig on that I know is gonna fit under all of my hair or fit over all of my hair. So I am so happy to add her to the family. I haven't even done a, what is it? Um, child, I don't know what it's called. For some reason, I can't even think straight. But I have a lot of mannequin heads. And these are my two. She was always, she was alone for a very long time. She was the only one that I made all my wigs on. And she needed a sister. 
and I think they need another sister. So <laughs> I already prepped my husband and let him know, yeah, boo, I might be getting another one of these real soon. She recently just got dirty. Like she has been clean for the last six years, like almost spotless. Now, granted, she, this is not dirt. It's, it's like transference of fabric. But yeah, so it kind of looks a little dirty, even though it's not. But for a long time, I kept plastic, a plastic covering over her. And then I would put my wigs on top of it to ensure that this fabric wouldn't get dirty. So I'll probably end up doing that again with both of these. So I'll probably keep this plastic, put it on top. And then that way I can put my wig cap on top of that. And then any dye that comes from the wig, if I have to glue something onto the cap, all of that can be done without damaging my actual mannequin head. And that's one way you can keep your mannequin head safe from all of the dye and all of the glue and anything else that may transfer from your project onto your mannequin head literally just get a grocery bag and put it on top of it for a long time i had a white grocery bag over top of her head and she was perfectly fine this is why she's so clean literally this is why she's so clean my last project that i just did i i ended up doing a faux lock wig and there was something that i was doing that ended up causing some glue to be involved not in the making of that wig but maybe transferring that wig off or before that wig yeah it got a little messy so that's what these spots are that's just glue so I can wipe that off and yeah so other than that and let me show you something real quick so if you can look closely let me see if I can go all the way in and pull it out so you see those little dots some of those are holes from the pins and that's it and if the holes get too big all you need to do is just get something like so let's say for instance, right, if this is a hole, let me put it all the way up. Okay, that's a hole right there, right? So I can actually remove that hole by taking something like this and just erasing it. So just erase at the fabric like that and it'll close the hole back up. And that's what I tend to do. Like if my holes get too big, I'll just do this. And don't be too rough, you could just do that. And it'll literally close the hole. So that's what a hole was. And it's practically gone now. So there are holes here too. I can erase those out. So that's why my canvas doesn't have like big ass intrusive holes. <laughs> because I, I literally will, I'll just do like this and I'll go over them and I'll just kind of erase them out. And that way you kind of make sure that your fabric doesn't start tearing or separating too much in any given spot. So that's that's a little maintenance tip for how I maintain my wig, my mannequin heads for a long time. <coughs> but that is the review of this bad boy and I'm going to be displaying her in my next wig creation video. So I'm going to be making a box braid headband wig I'm really excited and yeah we'll get to see her in action and you've already seen her in action or maybe not regardless of what you're going to see her in action if you haven't seen any of my wig creation videos of me displaying her as my little helper <laughs> if I were you and you wanted to get into making wigs this brand is a good brand to go with hands down and they're pretty affordable i've seen much cheaper wig mannequin wigs uh, i said mannequin wigs child wig heads <laughs> mannequin wig heads i've seen plenty of them and the quality were much lower so these are high quality they last for a long time they're pretty solid so this is what the bottom looks like and it has the staples going around, those staples aren't going anywhere. Like I said, I've had this mannequin head for six years. You would never be able to know. And I, I'll say I probably made about 10 wigs on her um, so far, about 10, maybe 13 wigs. 
Um, so I don't use her a crap ton, but she wears a wig all the time. So I'm always constantly putting pins in her. And then this is the new one. So yeah, I mean, this is a little off right here. This uh, rubber is a little off, but I mean, it's fine. It's actually fine. It's, it's still the same, same quality. Well, let's see, hold on. This rubber feels a little harder than this one. This feels more silicone-y. This feels more silicone base. Like it's it's more pliable, see? It's more pliable. I don't really know what that's about. But it is more pliable. You can move it. Whereas with this one, it's not, it's more hard plastic. You can't really bend it. Oh, I'm gonna break my goddamn nail, sorry. You can't really bend this one. This is more hard plastic, whereas this one is more rubber. Now, whether or not they did that as an upgrade, I have no clue. You may have to ask them, but that is something that I see that is a difference. And to be honest, I actually prefer the harder plastic because it doesn't move. <laughs> like, it stays in place. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that, so. Um, and then also they have less staples. So this one has one, two, three staples. Whereas this one has one, two, three. Put my hand right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight staples. And this one only has three. So they really trying to cut some corners on that. Don't know, don't really know what that's about. Oh, okay. So I actually see that even the screws are higher quality on this one versus this one these screws are much smaller these screws are much bigger and they actually have like i can tell the difference between a good quality screw and a lesser quality screw because i do a lot of home improvement projects so yeah these are definitely heavier duty screws versus these but you can always take those out and then replace them if you want to like if that's an issue for you but i mean shoot based off of what i see the bottom piece is still the same it's still the same quality and thickness um yeah let me see if i can let's see so this would just go right in the bottom and it holds it up pretty nicely Yeah, it'll hold it up pretty nicely. So you'll just clamp it onto your table, utilizing this, screws all the way out. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty wide area. So that's the thickness that your table can be. So yeah, this is pretty solid. So, you know, if you're on the go and you need to bring a little stand with you, every hotel has a table. So you can always attach this and Bring your little mannequin wig. I will bring the smaller one if I'm gonna bring one of these. Or you could bring a styrofoam one and just bring this with you. Yeah, it fits in both of them perfectly fine. Shoot, is this one heavier? <laughs> it's, it, this thing is moving, like it's bending more. Huh. Let's see. No, they definitely about the same weight. Even though this one's bigger, they're about the same weight. So yeah. But other than that, they're both a great buy. I mean, I don't know if they still have this quality since this is different. So it may be slightly different, but great buy, great company, solid product, highly recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, any suggestions, um, any ideas, have you had one? Do you have one of these? What has been your experience? Um, yeah, so let's get the conversation popping down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.